yours. Will I say yummy? I don't know. Do you like eggs? I will not I will not comment on the relationship I have with eggs. But anyway, here we are and we are getting things done today. And I'm calling it a realistic clean with me because it was it was really something. So I don't show a lot of cleaning on my channel because it's hard to clean with a one-year-old. First of all, I mean, it gets done. It's got to get done, but to film it as well. Y'all, there were so many clips I had to take out because my one-year-old was dragging the tripod around the house and I had no idea. So when I turned around, <laughs> y'all were gone. Even editing this right now, um, my child is napping. So I'm taking the time to even do this. So I'm editing, I'm doing this voiceover. My child is napping and um, Sometimes it takes a long time to get to these voiceovers. Like the last voiceover you heard, I did that over an hour ago. And so this I'm getting done. As you see, he is napping as well. So nap time is the time to get things done. Not time for you to rest unless things are done. that probably sounds really harsh to people and I don't mean it to come off as a mean way I just mean you know to take care of a home is hard and it's a sacrifice being a mom and a wife we have to sacrifice our time we have to sacrifice our energy and you know what in my honest opinion my whole nine years of being a mom it's worth it and I wish that I would have started this journey with this kind of mindset If you are a woman who works outside of the house and you are listening to this, I applaud you because there was a time frame that I did work um, before my child was born actually, my one year old, I was in the workforce and it was hard coming home and having to clean. There are times where I had to take a little nap when I came home, then get up, start dinner, clean up, you know, do all the evening stuff. So it is a hard job being a woman. So is being a man, but you know, different roles, different roles. I feel like men and women are sometimes at competition of who has the heaviest load. And I'm going to tell you that we both share a heavy load. It's just, you know, my stress might be different than his stress and his stress is definitely different from my stress. So it's not a competition. I don't want you to look at your home, look at your husband um, and yourself. If you're married, I'm talking to a woman who's married. I don't want you to start comparing each other. You have such a vital role in your home and in the leadership in your home and to your children, if you do have children. You both do so much. And even if one or the other does not hear it, I want you to hear it from me right now. I appreciate what you're doing. I see what you're doing, the Lord sees what you're doing, and it is hard work. And if you need to hear right now that your house smells really clean, I want you to know that I can smell your house right now and it smells really clean. <laughs> My goal that I want you to set for yourself as well is diligence. 
and it's diligence in seeking the Lord first of all, because he's the one who's going to give you strength, okay? Um, be diligent in your home, with your hands, diligent in your heart, in guarding your heart, right? It's not about perfection here. And um, just remember that when you're watching my videos, that you too can be the diligent mama. I'm not just the only diligent mama. And you know what? I have a lot to work on. I want us all as a community to be a bunch of diligent mamas together, inspiring one another, lifting each other up, okay? That's what I want you to do. I want me to lift you up and you to lift me up. That's what I want here. chatty self i forgot to mention why i'm using a broom and not my vacuum so here it is my vacuum was not holding a charge anymore i don't know what was going on so instead of giving up i said grab that broom you can do it you can work off 10 calories for the day doing this so do you think that i was not gonna claim those 10 calories i worked hard to burn off those 10 calories yes i did This wasn't even what's underneath the couch. I need to get my muscle man in here to move this couch because that's really heavy. I was not about to move it, but my goodness, everything that I got out of from the inside of the couch, I could probably go plant a new plant somewhere. Sometimes just done is good enough. Here we are at the fridge and I was dreading coming to the fridge so much, hence why it has a lot of old things in it. And I promise we are not a wasteful family. So what happened this past week? I don't know. I do not know. It was a bunch of little odds and ends things that for some reason I try to keep. Like once I had like three dices of tomatoes in the fridge. <laughs> Three little dices in a bag. What's what's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. I guess just lesson learn. Keep on top of your fridge because if you put leftovers in weird places that you don't remember you put them, you're not going to know what you have and therefore it's going to lead to waste anyway. So um, be diligent in your fridge.
So after all the hard work, I decided that my hands needed um, some therapy time in their hot tub. So that's what you can see me doing here. I'm taking some time for my hands to just relax a little in the hot water and soap. <laughs> Friends, I want you to be hardworking, but most importantly, I want you to be present. These moments are only for a while. Until next time, bye-bye for now.